I'm Joe. Uh, they call me Slamming Joe because I was such a hard worker. General Washington, he got about two, three hundred Negroes working on his, on his property. And they split up in two main groups. Uh, Mrs. Washington slaves is called Dallas slaves, and the general slaves is called Washington slaves. And now, and then the groups has broke down into what you're going to be doing. So, uh, slaves work in the house. Slaves work out in the fields. If you work in the house, you might be a waiter. You might be a cook. You might be a scullery maid. You might be a, 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 a chambermaid. You might be a butler. You work out in the fields and you might be a, a ditcher like me. Ditcher, you got to be able to do your numbers because sometimes he says a ditch got to be dug over here and it got to be so deep and it got to be so wide. And you got to get, you got to measure that. You got to find out what it is. When we're working on that mill race, that mill race, get big up toward the front, then it get little and little as it get toward that mill so that water get fast and hit that that wheel and turn that wheel so it's, you got to be able to measure that. Sometimes you need an irrigation ditch to get that water from the cistern over to, to the vegetables. You got to dig a ditch. Sometimes the boys will go down in the woods and they'll cut down some trees and we got to get them trees to different places. So we dig a ditch to the creek and the water flow in and we throw them logs in the creek and they just go on right down and then we stop them right where they want to go. So we works all the time. And I'm a ditcher, but that don't mean that's all I do. We do just about anything the general want done when it's getting done. Now, my wife Scylla, she a field hand. Her and my children, they live here at the Dole Run Farm where my little cabin is. And all week long, we is living and working hmm, three, four miles from each other. We work from sunup to sundown. Summertime, that sundown be nine o'clock sometime. And Saturday night, I get off Saturday night, then I can walk to my family. But during the week, I lives in that quarters, the slave quarters, the men's slave quarters. There's about 15, 20 men in that slave quarters, and we all different kind, all different from some of us right off the boat uh, from Africa. Some of us are born right here, and some of us uh, speak uh, uh, English, and some of us don't know nothing about it. Uh, some of us are Christians. We uh, taught Christianity by, by the Baptists and the Methodists. Some, some Muslims, some believe in all kind of stuff the sun god and the moon god and all that stuff, and we was all in there. We was all trying to talk to each other and live with each other. Still and my six kids, they down here on the Doe Run Farm. I was trying to get my boy Christopher on as a carpenter with Isaac and them carpenter boys, see if I can get him into that skilled labor. Now, my little babies uh, is rise. He just run around through here. He about year old. He just run around through here. He would be a long time before he joined the workforce. But Scylla, she got to work all day long, and then she got to come home and and fix the family dinner and things. But I get here sometimes Saturday night because I got to work all day Saturday, about 10 o'clock. I was bees here Saturday night, Sunday all day, but Monday morning, I just got to be back before the sun warmed the earth. That's what the generals say. So Saturday night and Sunday, that's the only time I get to spend with my family. The only time we get to be together as a family is during that little time. So we try to take advantage of that. We try to do all we can.